sure. It is his way of scalping. Besides, only a crazy man would take whiskey and leave food. right there. Now drop those rifles. Drop it. Now get out. in the saddlebag, kid. A bunch of traitor. Hold it, kid. You call him kid. Even to you, he's not a man. When you get in a tight spot, you better use your gun. I forgot. Someday you might run into something you can't handle with that knife. For some, the gun would be too easy. The army will take care of him. Now move. I said move. I hear white man. Just rode in. They've got my team. All right, get out. Hmm. Here, my brothers. More a bunch of traitors. Get moving. Yours has been a foolish war, Martin. I will fight the long knives till I die. I'll see to it that you don't get another chance. You brought needless misery to your people. You speak lies. I fight for the Apache. 
I will gather warriors around. We've had enough killing from you and your kind. I will kill again. Get them out of here, Sergeant. Lock them up. More whites will die. Martin will eat his people. Good job, Mr. Ziegler. Frankly, I didn't think you'd bring this one in. Well, I had considerable help. Yes. I'll uh, mention that in my reports. Uh, didn't you have something you wanted to do, kid? Go ahead, I'll bring your pay down. You have a knack for handling them. I can't seem to muster enough respect. Because they work for us, chasing down their own kind? Perhaps. It isn't easy for them, Major. I know General Crook speaks well of them. He ought to. Before you hired Apache scouts, the Army chased Geronimo for a year and a half. Don't forget, we were in unknown territory. Pursuing an enemy that refused to stand and fight. That's what makes it so hard to catch these renegades. We'll get them, just give us enough time. That's the point. When we captured Geronimo, they quieted down. But as long as these renegades are on the loose, it keeps the young bucks restless. One incident, a new leader, that's all it would take. Well, I don't know. Some of them savvy a lot more than you give them credit for. Now, take the kid, for instance. He sees a new way coming. Since we've been scouting together, you might say he's grown to be part white man, just like I've grown to be part Indian. That's a dangerous attitude. My job, a man can't afford an attitude. When your life's at stake, you've got to know. And don't forget, Major, the only man who can catch an Apache is another Apache. And don't you forget, Ziegler, an Indian is always an Indian. Liwana knows I have long wanted her. With gifts such as these, your father will consent to our marriage. Then you had best show them to my father. You show little respect for Apache Brave. When I buy you, I will teach you respect. I will teach you to love me. Spotted one is much horse. What do you think, my brother? Now, I'm trying to admire this spotted horse many, many times. Ben, you know my brother Chickasin? Chickasin? Sure do. These are horses. That horse would soon go lame. Chickasin, are you here to keep an eye on this love sick kid? I speak for him tonight. So soon? My brother worries, but I have promised to speak only the good I know of him. <laughs> Maybe we could team up and really tell our old man a thing or two, huh? <laughs> and I call you friend. Got the one's friends, good judge of horses. That uh, spotted horse is the only good one in the bunch. I know. That horse is too sick to live through the winter. I would give to Catawan all his horses for very little money. Yeah. How much? One month's pay. I have a debt to pay, presents to buy. For half a month's pay, I'd give Catawan these horses. But I keep Spotted One only for myself. A oh, spotted horse has much spirit. Don't you think you better keep a more gentle horse? Oh, I have another buyer. Chato, he will buy him. Chato? Well, now, maybe we could uh, give you a big can of tobacco. Another one for next month? <laughs> hey, almost forgot. Corporal? Took long enough coming through that in the extra pay. Is a man of more importance now? <laughs> they say make a man a corporal and he'll act like a sergeant, at least for the first few days. <laughs> Is 
So the White Scout returns. Have you brought back more Apache scalps? Geronimo would have stretched your body from hill to hill for being the traitor you are. Have you come back to stay? For a while, perhaps. Must you go back? Have you forgotten? I am like the soldier. That I must come or go, as they tell me. Rivana, have you forgotten? The whites give us food and tobacco today. No, Father. You must make your mark on the paper. They have taken my arm. Let them make my mark with it. Your father should not be bothered. I can get the rations. I will not have you begging the whites for me. I am not an old woman. The whites have good reason to remember Nantan as a great warrior. If more of my young braves had followed me, this would still be our home instead of our prison. Forgive him, Catawan. The wounds of the old heal slowly. And my wounds. They open up more and more each time I meet the eyes of my people. Is it so with my eyes? No. to speak for Catawan. Will Mantan listen? Catawan wears a strange manner. Does he come as Long Knife Scout or as an Apache? As Apache. Mantan will listen. speak. My brother has little wealth, but he has strength and youth. There would be many grandchildren to gladden Nantan's heart. For many years our families have walked together, but I have my doubts about Catawan. He now walks with the whites. Many of our people look upon him as a traitor. The whites take the land with their guns, Lewana but they hold it with the plow. I would learn their ways so that I can help our people. We are to have peace. We must learn to work with them. Your father must understand this. But he says a man cannot ride two horses. Better that than to ride a dead horse. The old way is gone. Then I will learn from you. If we marry, will we live as the whites? Why do you ask this? I like the way of the woman in their marriage. Well, so? Her husband does not beat her. She can come and go without his permission. And if the woman pleases him, the man will buy her many things. Calico with which to make dresses and... I have not yet made the decision to which way we will live. White man's way is very good. I think the Apache way is better. In all things? In everything that concerns the squaw. Well, now I understand. 
You wish to live as the wife, but only in matters that please you. Already you talk as a wife. My brother believes we must learn to live among the whites. But to fight with them against our own people? Antan knows that there are bad among the Apache, as well as good. Catawan fights only against the bad ones. Chato has come to speak for Nantan's daughter in marriage. Chato will wait his turn. I listen now to Chikison, who speaks for Katawan. Nantan would be wise if he heard my words. When I speak about Katawan, I speak the truth. You will speak when your time comes. Perhaps Nantan no longer sees with the eyes of a warrior. Katawan is a traitor. Enough. There, you see? Chikison jumps at my words, just as his brother jumps when the long knives speak. Silence! Chato speaks with a jealous tongue. And you speak with the crooked one. Katawan has two faces, one red, one white. If you would have your grandchildren with two faces, then give your daughter to the traitor Katawan. <laughs> uh, let him go. Warriors do not fight over women. <laughs> Take him inside. Indian seems to be in a big hurry. Yeah, it's Chato. I better go see what this is all about. trouble. Your brother spoke with his hands. And Shado? With his knife. As a coward does. In the back. Apaches. Not if it involves you and Shado. He has spilled my brother's blood. Is he dead? Well, then don't be a fool. I'll bring Shado back. No, I will go. Look, you just got those corporal stripes. I don't want you losing them. If Chickasin dies, I must avenge him. I know Apache law. But you just keep in mind what we've been working for.
I must see my brother. He's dead, Caterwan. Your brother's knife. You know the laws of our people. Just my horse's legs. Well, let's try the west side. It's an awful lot of trouble for just one Indian. Kid? Sure, I'm sure. He was headed for that gap. Well, that means he's closing in. Two Apache bucks in the boulders. Hallelujah. All right, Sergeant, let's go earn that pension. Thank you. 
Sergeant! That's Chato's horse. Therefore, my decision that you shall all be taken to the territorial prison at Yuma and there suffer the penalty of death by hanging. You are right, sir. Of course. Bring in Catawan. Well? It's Igla, sir. He wants to talk to you first. Very well. There's nothing you can do. He only did what he felt was right under Apache custom. I don't run this reservation according to Apache custom. He's got to be punished. Under the circumstances, after all he's done for us? You either have discipline or you don't. But he didn't understand. He broke reservation and he killed. And when an Indian, any Indian does that, he's a renegade. This is a personal matter. And subject to capture, confinement, and punishment. Oh, bring in Catamon. Come in, kid. You'll have to wait outside, Nantan. I have a right to be here. I speak for my people. You, Catawan, are here on a charge of murder. Now, wait a minute. Isn't that painting it pretty black? Mr. Ziegler, by your report, you captured this prisoner. That's right. Did you see the killing? No, sir. But you saw the prisoner standing over the body of the dead man. I did. He had a knife in his hand. He had a knife in his hand. He did. Do you have anything to say? I will speak for Catawan. 
By our tribal law, when a man is killed, his spirit cannot leave this earth until his death has been avenged. Katawan took his brother's knife and avenged his death. That is why he is here, to be punished for this crime. I have thought many days and still cannot understand the white man's way. When Katawan killed by your law, you gave him honor. When he killed by our law, you take his freedom. Katawan chose the white man's way when he took the oath as an army scout. He must be tried by our law. And try me too. It was I who placed the knife in his hand. Katawan, you understand this is your last chance to speak in your own behalf? Because of your good record as an army scout, I am hereby reducing the charge of murder to one of manslaughter. Therefore, you, Catawan, also known as the Apache Kid, are to be taken to the territorial prison at Yuma and there imprisoned for a term of seven years. That's all. You're dismissed. Seven years in that hell hole, you know that it would have been much kinder to hang him. You will leave now, Nantan. All right, get up in the wagon. Hurry up with those horses. I'm not going to try and justify the army. Always you two ride together. Even to prison. Dog still obeys his master. Go and hitch horses and take them to water. Can I help you, kid? Hear me? I hear the white man.
Get up. No one sits while Martin stands. now? I want my freedom just as much as you, Martin. Well, put up your gun and join us. Is the White Scout dead? Yes. We would have you make sure. bullets on dead men. Yeah, but that's more than I can say for the rest of them. All right, take it easy now. Much obliged. Ziegler's back, sir. Ziegler? He's been wounded. A cowboy just brought him in. Two guards were killed. And the prisoners? They got away. He's in the infirmary. Ben Ziegler has been brought back, wounded. 
Cadawan? No word of him yet. But if he lives, word of him will come to us. Fine situation, Mr. Ziegler. Martin on the loose again, Cadawan with him. It would appear that the kid's more Indian than you thought. <clears throat> well, anyway, we're glad you got back. Take care of him, Doctor. Here. I'll take that. I didn't know you saved souvenirs, Ben. <coughs> I got use for this. Patrols in that area? Yes, sir. Oliver? He's dead. They killed his son, too. Any evidence? They're army shells, sir. Anything else? A fellow named Watson caught sight of the raiders as they left. One of the Indians was riding a blaze faced sorrel. Ziggler's? The kitten Martine. It's a bad combination. Hard to stop. But we're going to stop them, Sergeant, understand that. You'll double your patrols and you'll keep them on the move till you bring that bunch in. Oh, and place extra guards on the Indian village. Yes, sir. Already you speak against me, Katawan. You are a fool. If we had only driven off the white man's horses and not killed, we would be safe. <laughs> Even now, you protect them. We must plan how to get the things we need. Fast horses, guns and cartridges, and plenty of food. Soon a time will come when I will ride far. To Mexico, maybe? And who will ride with Katawan? None of you. We ride together only to raid for what we need. Martin does not raid. Martin makes war. And you, Katawan, do you ride with us? I have no choice. Then you will listen when Martin speaks. That depends on what you say. I say you will listen. I will give the orders and you will obey. Or you will die. back the mark of the white man.
There's word of Katawan. Katawan is too cunning even for an Apache to find. If he still lives. He lives. But the whites die. Two more last week. I cannot believe it is Katawan. He would not kill them. Why not? Surely he has gone far away where he will not be found. Knowing the daughter of Nantan waits for him. family slaughtered. Harrison's killed, burned out. Lost our supply wagon. Three troopers killed. The kids behind this. It's too clever for Martine. The way they dodge around. Always there right after we've left. Pick one place tonight, the next time they're a hundred miles away. What's the answer? We need more men, sir. It's impossible they're not to be had. If these young bucks keep sneaking off, it won't be long before we'll all be able to go out. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Sergeant. If we don't stop them soon, we'll have another uprising on our hands. And that I won't have. No, sir. Gaunt? Yes, sir? What do you think of bounty hunters? I beg your pardon, sir. You don't like them, but I don't like them either. They're brutal human beings. But they do get results, don't they? Yes, sir. Rumor has it. You think so? You seen those vultures outside? My troops can't find them. I've had no help from the Indian scouts. No wonder they've been on the kid's side ever since the army sentenced him. So I'm left with bounty hunters. You'll pay for a hundred heads before you get the ones you want. So long as I get the ones I want. Cash, Major. We'll take it in any size, paper or silver. I'm not paying for just any Apache you bring in. Come on, Major. Looks just like the kid. Take a good look at that poster next time. 
Is this your way of backing out of paying? You bring in Martine and the kid and you to earn your money. Come on. Hey, take that out of here with you. Well, that one's a gift, Major. The next time we won't make any mistakes. And you'd better have the money ready. Guard. Help me get him out of here. Well, how's your stomach calling up, Major? You know, there's one card you haven't played yet. What's that? Me. I mean it. You're not going out, so forget it. Why not? As long as you're asking, I might as well give it to you straight. I'm listening. There's a general feeling around that because of the way things were between you and the kid. That I was looking the other way when he jumped and made the break, is that it? That's it. Well, as long as we're talking straight, you might as well get it through your head that I'm going after the kid. And when I find him, I'm going to kill him. How do you think you're going to find him? I'll take care of that. You just take the guard off of Nantown, the girl. Why still take us for fools? They took away the guards thinking we would lead them to Katawan. We must be careful. Follow the scout's trail. We'll see what this is all about. Here. Say now, looks like you boys made a pretty good haul. That wouldn't be the Apache Kid or Martin, would it? That's Martin. Well, there goes a long ride for nothing. Join the army, you'll get used to that. Thanks. I like getting mine the easy way. The kid's still out there. my days of living were over. They will be if you remain here any longer. I have ponies for you from Rewana, with her wish that you make a quick departure. I will not leave without her. But much money has been placed on your head. The white blood suckers come from everywhere to claim your life. Leave with the ponies while you can. I have endured much in order to take her with me. I will endure a great deal more until I can. 
symbol of Apache hate. Martin. You will kill Martin. I am through with killing. I seek only peace. No longer will I walk two trails. But the trail you walked was one of honor. Someday our people will live at peace with the whites. But other men will bring this to pass. Not I. Our people will learn from the understanding I have gained from you. They will speak of Katawa with respect. Come with me. It is my wish that you might live with your own people. That you might make your home on the same lands with me. But since there are those who would seek your life, you must journey far from here. My daughter waits for you, yonder. Go to her, my boy. Care for her as she cares for you. Live as you believe you should live. But make your new world far away from here. Go. Everything we will need for our new home. It will be a small home. We will be together. Not as deep as the scars of loneliness that have been on my heart. Forgive me for being a woman. And for what reason? by helplessly when you suffered countless pains. Only the pain of being apart from you. All other scars will heal. I promise to be a good wife. And I can beat you. And I will do only that which will please you. No speaking your mind on family matter? Never.
waited long to take you with me. Now I know you should go back. I am your woman. You will be hunted as I am hunted. I have nothing to give you. No home. No people. Not even food that I have provided. Then give me the mountains for my home. And the stars for my friends. Far enough. I've got a bullet for you, Apache. Takes an Apache to catch an Apache. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, I remember a lot of things. Especially my own mistakes. Do you, bounty hunter? This is a personal matter. Just wanted to return a bullet that you left with me. He still believes it was you who shot him. It was Martin. Try again, kid. You're getting closer. This is the first time I've ever pointed a gun at you, Ben. Then shoot it. You shoot it. Send the kid out. Don't try anything. We're looking down your throat. Jessup! Harry! One false move and we'll plaster you up against that wall over there. You and the girl Ziggler stay where you are. Kid? You go give yourself up to Jessup over there. I will go. You do and you never live to raise any kids. Come on. All right, if that's the way you want it. That kid's scalp is worth too much to let you get away, Ziegler. Hey, Jessup. I'll take that one. Hold it, hold it, kid. This is one of those times that knife's not gonna do you any good. Take a look! 